everybody. I hope you're having a wonderful uh, week. Today is Wednesday. Taking the car, just as I said in, in Monday's video, taking the car down to CarMax. We're going to see exactly what uh, they will value the car at so that you can kind of get an idea uh, if you currently have a Stingray Z51 Grand Sport. At least you can kind of get an idea of what your car would be going for. They're in business to make money. They're in business to buy your car and sell it at a, at a higher price than what they bought it for. Uh, it's just like flipping a house. So I understand that. And this number typically, all it represents is kind of a market value as far as, you know, trading your car in, not private sale. So let's jump in the car and head to, to CarMax. here at CarMax. Looks, looks like they're getting a load here, probably taking a load. Who knows? Business looks to be pretty good because I'm a doubting all these are employees, so a ton of people bring their cars here to, to get them appraised. Before we get in there, go ahead and let me know right now what you think the total that they're going to give uh, that they're going to offer for the car. So let me know in the comments below. Go ahead and stop the video right now. Go down there and put it. This is going to be an honor system because at the end you're going to find out anyway. So. Twenty seventeen Chevy Corvette. Is it gray? Watkins Glen gray. Yeah, gray. Anything aftermarket on it? Uh, all the arrow. arrow. It's in your name. Yeah. It's a pay for car. No accidents. You have two keys. Yeah. Uh, any suspension or engine modifications done to it? No. Are you going to add or take anything off of it? No. Are you recording right now? Could be. Hey, look at the lights. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. Uh, you got 2,000 miles on it? Uh, yeah, 2,200. 2,200? All right, so like I said, one of our crates will go outside. They okay. probably won't drive it since it's so low mileage. Okay. And we'll inspect the inside, the outside of it, and how we research your offers based on the year. So 2017, 2,000 miles on it. Mm -hmm. It's got a clean history. The features, options, in your case, a grand sport, collector's edition, and then overall condition. View, stuff like that, yeah. but my videos keep getting deleted from YouTube because oh, of guns. Yeah. So, so Yo, he's a YouTuber, man. I know, he I was follow, telling Yeah, I follow him on YouTube. Oh, cool. And then he sent me a lead, and I was like, Chuck, man, it says I'm like Corvette. I'm like, dude, this can't be the uh, <laughs> That's <Chuck."> hilarious. <laughs> That's funny, dude. It's funny. How's the ZR1, man? Oh, it's... Outstanding. Mind to sit on it? Yeah, yeah, go ahead. All right. All right, Chuck. 2017 Chevy Corvette Grand Sport, 2,211 miles. These are your options, your AC seats, performance package, special edition, 20-inch wheels, navigation, uh, inside, Checks out fine. Outside looks good as well. Mechanical wise, runs like it should. Here's the uh, history on your car. You bought it brand new. The appraiser comment says collector's edition, low miles, well maintained. No accidents. Looks like you paid cash for it. And you came from Ohio and you bought it. 
four, twelve, and eighteen. Any questions? No. Nope. Your offer is fifty-five thousand. Fifty-five thousand. So there it is, guys. Fifty-five thousand. Fifty-five thousand. If you commented down that it was fifty-five thousand, then you're uh, <laughs> you're you're in. Isn't that pretty sweet? All the Alcantara all over. Yep. Steering wheel. You know, they don't do a whole lot of these. Got Alcantara all up through it. Take a Snapchat. Yep. Definitely got to give a big shout out to Jalen here. Jalen, who watches the channel. And he's actually doing a Snapchat right now. But uh, really cool guy. Uh, thank him for. Uh, Taking the time, getting everything I needed done there. He's sitting in the car. I told me he could definitely check it out. Sweet ride. <laughs> now, after I got through with CarMax, I did go to a local Chevy dealership. I actually knew someone there, and they uh, had their used car manager appraise the Grand Sport, and their actual trading value was going to be 53. So, as you can see, there's you know CarMax is a little bit more than what they offered but that's gonna be pretty close to the range. And again, this is this is top of the line Grand Sport here. It's got about everything in it. You have to go to the Carbon 65 car to find a car that's stock that has more you know, uh, accessories and, and, and more add-ons as far as price-wise. Uh, so again, my whole key for this video was to really show you guys what you can expect in either a resale value or a cash offer you know, based upon what you have, even if you have a Grand Sport right now and it doesn't have a Z07 package. Uh, in talking with the used car manager, he said that's going to equate to about a uh, thirty-five to four thousand dollar difference in appraisal. So it's not something that's extravagant. You know, you're not. It's not like you're going to get eight thousand dollars. You know, for your carbon ceramics or anything like that. But you know. So if, my, if this appraised at 55 and maybe you just had a standard Grand Sport, even without the arrow, he said the arrow isn't a real big thing. They really don't take that into play. Uh, it's not really considered, um, even though it is a package and it's cool, we love it. They really don't value those things a whole lot. Uh, I was very surprised they did not, neither one of them said the car needed tires, which is something that uh, anytime a Corvette has Cup 2 tires and you're trying to trade it in, they usually will downgrade you for having those just simply because they know that those are, you know, someone's going to spend a couple thousand dollars on some new tires. But with it only having 2,000 miles, that definitely helped with that. Um, but I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're thinking about selling your Corvette, then now I hope you have a little bit more information to go by. And if you're wanting to get a C8 and you're saying, Chuck, you know, should I really get rid of my C7 right now? You know, that's a, just a decision that you have to make for yourself. Uh, it's a financial decision. And, you know, is this something that you are really excited about getting as a C8? Then, yeah, you might think about, you know, selling your C7 and stacking up some cash between now and then so that, uh, you know, you can pay as much cash as you possibly can on it. But guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I will see you at the next one. But until then, have a blessed rest of your week. Now, let's check out some of your beautiful rides.
until you discover it is within each other to forgive and make amends. If I had known then, or what I know now, I wouldn't have said what I said. I took the long road, thought I'd be better on my own. Sometimes what's right is wrong instead, cause I.